Shifting a Turbo! Hey guys, KRX50 here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Turbo Morpher from Power Rangers Turbo. This is the morpher used by the Turbo Rangers to morph, and includes a few things. The Turbo Morpher, their morphing key, and a wrist strap which I'm missing. So we'll look at the morpher first. It's black plastic with some silver paint and some chrome silver paint with a few stickers here and there as well as a little bit of translucent red plastic. And I never quite knew what this was designed after. Personally, I think it's designed after an engine block. Because of how it's, you know, kind of designed like this. All silvery with vents and stuff. I've never been quite sure, but it does seem like it would fit for a car series. Up here we have a sticker that says Turbo Rangers, and we have this one... That so it says RBGYP, which obviously stands for Red, Blue, Green, Yellow, Pink. Red, Blue, Green, Yellow, Pink. The colors of the Turbo Rangers. We have the keyhole right here, and we have the other side, and we have this on the other side. Now here's the key. Has a sticker labeled Turbo Rangers. Has this nice shiny button here, which has the Turbo Ranger emblem which is, in fact, the C for Car Ranger. Though, you know, there are quite a few paint scratches all around. But yeah, this is actually the Car Ranger C. And you have the backside here. It has a nice amount of molding detail. It isn't all that necessary, but it's a nice touch. Pressing down on this gold button will release the keyblade like that, and we have it right here, which is in die-cast metal, it's quite nice, you can actually really hear that metal if you tap it against something like this, yeah, you can, you know, it's that sound that tells it, definitely metal, and it folds right back in. Simple as that. So to do the morph, you would take the open key, insert it into the slot, then rotate it so that the sticker and this button are facing forward, like so. You have that nice little light show. Just like that. Has one other sound, which is a kind of call sound or an alert sound, I'm not quite sure, but what you do is you press down the black button, if I can just get it right, there we go, and you get that. Now there is something a little weird about my battery compartment, the batteries inside, it might have something to do with the springs or something, but it's a little hard for me to work the black button. Uh, sometimes it gets kind of on the fritz. I have to kind of have it held in a specific way. But that's it. That and this are the only two sounds this makes. But that's just a consequence of the time. As far as differences from the XL Changer from Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger, the only differences are detail-wise. The sticker on the key said Car Ranger, and instead of a sticker saying Car Ranger on here, it had the words it had the word Car Ranger molded into this part. So it's really a matter of your preference. If you like Power Rangers Turbo or Geeks Out Sentai Car Ranger better, which one you want to get? Because you know, aside from these detail. Aside from those minor details, they're exactly the same. So this is a definite. This is a def. This is definitely a good replacement. If you can't get an XL changer, or if you don't want one. So please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my blog at krx50.blogspot.com. And uh, just to tell you guys this now, this here is actually the oldest morpher I own. So for now, this is KRX50. Riding off.